Hell yeah, what's up guys? It's Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back in action today. We're back in HitFilm Express, the free video editor, and I'm going to show you how to adjust the audio of your gameplay footage and your microphone footage in HitFilm Express. And more particularly, I'm going to show you how to do it using a free tool, and I'm going to show you how to use it doing the NVIDIA Shadow Play, and it's very, very tricky. So uh, it's easy to do once you get the hang of it, but there's a couple steps, so work with me. Let's go. All right, I've got HitFilm Express open, and again, it's a free video editor. All the stuff we do here at Freedom is free. So here we go. We've got it open. I just played the new game by Freedom Games. By the way, it's called Airborne Kingdom. You might have played it already on your Switch. It's on Steam right now. It just popped today. It's got 12 reviews. All 12 of them are thumbs up. It's at a 100% positivity rating. Can't beat that, so definitely worth taking a look at. All right, so here is the footage that I filmed of me playing, and it's about two minutes of footage. So I'm just going to left-click on it, I'm going to drag and drop it, and I'm going to drop it into this media folder here for those of you that are following along. All right, presto, and you're going to see some sort of looking russian -y style with, like, garlic. <laughs> a gar the garlic castle, the onion castle. All right, I've dropped it in. I'm going to now left-click on it, drag and drop it into the time lane, time line, making sure that it is lined up at the front here. So here we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. In a bygone age, yeah. a kingdom existed like no other. So here's the thing. What I want to do is I want to show you how to adjust the microphone and the game, the background game music independently. And inside HitFilm Express, it's a little tricky. So in this one, we dragged and dropped it in, and you can hear the background music. All right, good. In most cases, you generally want your microphone to go up and your background music to go down, unless you've uh, got some strange settings. So the first step is to do that. Now, I'm going to show you one of the mistakes and one of the reasons why people get stuck on this is if you drag and drop this in like this again and I'll drag and drop it on top so the first one went on video track one audio track one the next one goes on video track two audio track two here's what's happened it's put an exact duplicate of this into the into the um, into the timeline you don't want that I'll control Z or command Z if you're on a Mac and let's go ahead and right click on this footage and now go to properties and watch this when you go down and you right click on properties, you're going to see here that it says audio one system sounds audio two is microphone. And you would think if you clicked on OK, that if you drop that in, you're going to get the system sounds on the one that we'd already dropped in and the microphone on the other one. But unbelievably, HitFilm Express does not do that. If you look at the waveform here, look at this. Yeah, and it's got onions on the top. All right, cool. So there's me beacon off during the game. Both of these audio tracks are now microphone. This is crazy. I don't know why this isn't why this is the way it is, but it's not the way to do things. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that track. So I'm just going to right click and delete it. We're going to go right back. Let's delete all of this mess. All right, we're going to right click on it. And I'm just going to click on where do we got remove all of it. So here it is. First step, drag and drop it onto the timeline at the front. This time, yeah, it's got the microphone selected. The next step is you want to go back to the footage, and this is again for shadow play and video. I'll show you how to do it without that in another video if you've done it right off of like Audacity. Drag and drop the footage in a second time. Strangely enough, you have to do this, so we've got it in here twice, and now on the footage you just dropped in, right click on it, go to properties, and now go from system sounds audio one to microphone or vice versa so let's go with microphone uh, no actually we've got the microphone loaded in so we're gonna go back here to properties and we're gonna go to system sounds so what's happening here is you've dragged to drop the footage in and you've selected one of the audio sources you drag the footage in a second time and you select the other audio source now drag and drop this on top of the other footage making sure that the video and the audio are both on separate tracks now if i move this to the beginning let's go to let's go to right about here now take a listen to the skies yeah and it's got onions on the top oh they're onions the okay so that's me talking about onions because i'm a fool all right but now we've got to the point where the audio the mic and the background music are on separate tracks now what you want to do is you want to go to the audio that is the background music in our instance here it is audio track 2 you want to hover on this white line 
and drag it down considerably. Well, this is a way too loud compared to our microphone, especially for this inst instance. So I'm going to drag and drop it down. Let's go with 13 decibels. So we've dropped it. Now let's take a listen here again. Yeah, and it's got onions on the top. Okay, getting better. The background music is a little bit more muted, a little bit softer. I'm going to drop it down to 16 decibels. So it's minus 16 decibels. And now to show you the last step, what you want to do is you want to take this white line and then increase it. So my audio, my microphone where I'm talking, let's say, okay, that was way too much. Let's go to like, yeah, let's just go up like, I don't know, like, do you want to go just one, four decibels for the hell of it. Now watch. Those are onions. The airborne... Okay, so... To the sky. Yeah, and it's got onions on the top. So my, my voice is louder in this recording. The background music is muted. My voice is actually a little bit too loud. So I would drop it down a smidgen. I would probably go to 1.33 just like that. And I know it's too loud because you'll see the red over here. That means it's blowing out or it's a little bit too loud. You generally don't want to see that. But... That, guys, is how you do it. And then, of course, you would just go to export, and you would export it to a file, and then, boom, we would just call this audio uh, adjustment, hit save, and then presto, you'll see that the exporter is started. That is how you adjust your background microphone and your background audio inside HitFilm Express. This is a free tool. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon. Got a lot more stuff coming.